Okay, so I was given this iPhone. Yes, the home button is missing. I'm replacing the screen, but I plug in the charger, right? And that's as far as it'll get. Yes, that's rice. Yep, just throw it in rice. That'll fix it. Okay, putting everything from that screen into that screen. I pretty much always start with the Y triple zero screws on the sides. And I just finish the other side. Next, I take out the home buttons, Y triple zeros. And I just want to say, um, I broke like the factory seal on this phone, and that's how this screw was. Good job, Apple. Cross-threaded and not even put in all the way. For anybody that doesn't know, the home button is extremely fra fragile, and if you break it, you'll never have a home button again. Yes, I messed up on fragile, but next we take out all of the Phillips head screws. All of those are out. This one too. Okay, and this piece is also super fragile. However, it's not paired to the phone, so if you break it, you can replace it. Now to peel this little black thing off. Once that's off, this whole plate comes. Now to remove the home button and proximity earpiece. Got that thing in the home button. Yeah, this guy's motherboard died. And I just got the new one, and there's the old one, and we're gonna replace it. Yeah. Pretty much all I've done so far is just unplugged stuff. So in my attempts to diagnose this, I had already unplugged everything. So I just need to unscrew all the screws. This is an AMD motherboard. For those that don't know, there are two processor manufacturers, AMD and Intel. No peanut butter. It should be free to remove. This is actually the same board, but just version two. So this is where your processor is. AMD processors have pins here and holes there. Just set it in and lock it. Install their RAM stick like a little Lego. So this is the same board. We don't have to worry about this plate. Plug in main power, CPU power, and we'll set the CPU fan in. All of our front panel, audio, USB, SATA cable, graphics card. We hope it works. And it does. Okay, time to fix this uh, Samsung tablet. First, you start by peeling this plastic back off. I've already done that because I stopped this, decided to start filming late. We want to unplug the battery cable and also the touch screen from up here. This connector is extremely fragile, so don't get up. This little black piece will snap in half. Once the cables are unplugged, we'll need a little bit of heat. And a razor blade. Cover the screen in tape. And you start peeling. And if you're lucky, it'll come off like that. Get all the glue off. Sorry, get all the glue off. Make sure there's no glass on the screen. Before we go sticking anything on, we're gonna test. Now we hope and pray. One, two, three, woohoo. Woohoo. Time to put it back together. Okay, this laptop was brought here because it won't turn on. We've got power, light, uh, it turned on by itself. Okay. Yeah, it's a no-go. This is kind of gross looking, but I'm gonna pull the battery, give her some power clear, and try to start it. Nothing. Uh, this does not look good. Screw, screw, screw. Oh. It's not that bad, there's nothing in it. That's just gross. One RAM out, two RAM out. Attempting boot with one stick of RAM. Ah, ooh, ha. Old, 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 old. This thing is on Windows Vista. Only has two gigs of working RAM and a Pentium processor. I'll suggest the upgrade to seven, as well as an additional two gigs of RAM. So it'd be looking like $53. God, this thing is massive. I swear to God, like, my muscles don't want to be muscles after lifting that up. I literally just got so busy, it's been like two hours. So, the guy spilt water on it, <laughs> and now his USB ports in the front are shorting out. Or at least that was his self-diagnosis. You know, that doesn't look good. Well, I unplugged the USB, for the front at least, and put it back in to see if it does the same thing. Well, it came right on. The guy said it shuts off within, like, a minute because of a USB malfunction. So, we'll see. I'm just saying. So it's been on for like two days now. So I'm gonna get it cleaned out and return to the guy. Yeah. Oh. 